So we wanted to do something a little special today, along with doing our video where we kind of ran down our day, our 290th video, I think, which is our one year anniversary of vlogging. This is our second video of the day. We're trying to give you guys something a little bit extra since we're celebrating one As year. A thank you for being here. So we put out a hashtag today, and it was hashtag Ask Danny and Lindsay. And Danny has not seen any of these questions beforehand. We're gonna get his random responses to all of these. Everything's gonna be candid and straight from my brain. Yeah, and it should be pretty <laughs> As opposed to my foot. fun. I think so. I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Let's get started. Hit me. What are the best and worst things about vlogging? Best and worst things about vlogging. The best, uh, like I said, is being able to do what we did in our previous video like we just did, going back and reliving all the amazing moments in life um, in, in such a small span as something like a year. Uh, just going back and just having like, it's truly a journal. You know, this is for us as well as it is for you. And just having all that stuff um, somewhere where you can go and really relive it is the best part. The worst part part about vlogging, I would say, I don't know. I would say the worst part is um, maybe like when the internet is slow. You rely on internet. That I guess is the best answer I have. Like on tour, sending footage back to Lindsay so she could upload it um, is relying on that. I guess is the worst part but there's that's not really that doesn't count I think my favorite part is uh, getting to travel that's been my most favorite part that has come out of it and then my least favorite is like having to get up in the morning and edit some days <laughs> like some days I just want to like sleep and like the vlogs like magically there because the filming parts really fun and doing stuff's really fun and then it's like the sitting down and like taking time out of my life to like bring it all together. We're trying to teach Mr. King how to edit. Yeah, he's going to be good at it. How does it feel to achieve a year of vlogging? It's something I didn't expect to feel. I, I didn't expect to get here. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of overwhelmed and proud. I'm like kind of proud that like this community has uh, built the way that it has and remained the way that it, that it is. It's all love. It's all positivity. It's all family. Like if you just look at the comment section, it's just always people just saying like, hey, how's everybody doing? Like, how's your day? Somebody will answer and then another person will say, Thumbs up, love that, congrats, you know, good luck. Stuff like that, I'm I'm proud, I think. And not just of myself for doing it, but for you guys uh, being the community because we can't do it without you guys, so proud. I'm really proud of you guys and us. <laughs> What's your most memorable moment from the last year? I have to pick one? Yeah. That's too hard. I don't know. I think... Maybe I... the hometown show because I think everybody that I loved was in one spot and I was doing what I loved in mm -hmm. front of everybody that I loved. It doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, I think my most memorable is um, when we switched to vlogging every day. Oh yeah. That stands out to me as something that was a huge, a huge thing for us. Do you guys remember that? We used to do just Monday and Thursday. And, and then, then we, we got, added Saturday. Yeah. And then we're like, what are we doing? Let's just do it every day. Yeah, and then we did it. Because every comment was like, vlog every day, daily vlogs. Ah. Yep. And we knew it was going to be a lot to take on, but I'm, I'm really happy we did. Me too. What's the craziest experience meeting a fan? I know I can think of mine. Okay. Um, when we were at Vlogger Fair and people were crying. Because yeah. every time somebody was crying, I started crying. Like, <laughs> I can't help it. Like, when people, and, and really. it's even like they're just <laughs> excited to meet their favorite drummer. Yeah. Something that's a little, like, along the same lines, but more general, is just having people come up and not just say, hey, Danny, like, I love We the Kings. You're a great drummer. Love this about the band. But more people coming up and talking to me about my life. Like, hey, I you know, how's Mr. King doing? Your new grill is awesome. Like stuff about like my <laughs> real personal life, and I think that's uh, that's the craziest thing to me is like uh, the fact that not everybody is they feel more like family and friends and stuff like that because they they specifically come up to uh, me and they point out things about my life and not just we the kings in the band. Cool that people are a part of it. I agree. What's the most interesting way you've had to find Wi-Fi on the road? Charles and I crack up about this all the time, but there's always one spot. I can't remember where it's at. Uh, th I think it's in one of the Carolinas, but we, we literally have to walk around this field that we're parked in with our laptops. We just look like idiots. I know we do. <laughs> we're just walking around like, oh, I, th I think there's a signal. Uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> because there's barely a Wi-Fi signal coming from some abstract place. I think we had to do that on our way home from Boston. 
Yeah. Remember, I was walking around Atlanta. I had my computer, my laptop open, my phone plugged into it, getting Wi-Fi from my phone. Mm -hmm. And I was just walking around, and some kid was like, oh, your laptop and everything, like said something to me. And I was like, man, you know, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Have you enjoyed vlogging more or less than you thought you would? I enjoy it 10 times more than I thought I would. Yeah. I kind of did it just kind of like, let's see what happens. Um, you know, I wanted to give it a shot, obviously, because of, you know, Charles doing it. And I just kind of thought it was going to be just, you know, maybe Monday, Thursday for a while. And it's just turned into every day of my life. It's, it's so, it's easy in the way that it just feels right for me to do this. Just to share my life with you guys all the time. So it's easy because it doesn't feel like a work or a job, even though it does take a lot of time for us to do that, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, like I said, I complained a little bit about editing, which I don't mean to, because I actually really like editing. <coughs> I just don't like getting out of bed, I think is the issue. <laughs> yeah. Realistically, the two hours that it takes me to edit a video, maybe three if it's like a really long one, but realistically, that is so much more enjoyable than like getting up and going and being like a CPA or something, you know what I mean? Being in yeah. real, the real world. We. We live a pretty awesome life and... No one's complaining here. Yeah, I'm appreciative. How long did it take you two to become comfortable vlogging in public? That's an interesting question. Um, I was kind of used to it because of Charles. Uh, I would get embarrassed for him when he first started. I mean, like the first couple days uh, when he was in the band vlogging. So I'd just be kind of like, oh my gosh, these people think he's crazy talking to a camera. And um, I realized how, how simple it was. Nobody actually cares. You just talk. And then I, I started doing it. It's easier if I don't know the people around me, like if I'm in an airport or like a, a mall or something. But around friends who don't quite know what I'm doing, that's when it took me like about a week or so to start doing that, but now it's just, that's all gone. Any any sort of like nervousness about that. Yeah. I don't mind filming in front of everybody. And I'd say about a week, a week or two is how long it took to start vlogging comfortably in front of everybody. But I feel like when you first brought it up that and wanted me to do it with you, that I was like super hesitant about it. Just I. I don't know, I didn't, I just didn't know what to expect. And then literally after the first vlog, we got through with the first vlog and I was like, this is like way more fun than I thought it would be and easier. Once you get into it, you just, you yeah, can do it's, it. It's easier than you think. Yep. I've got a few more questions. All right, here we go. These get heated. Ooh. You ready? Yes. Okay. How many kids do you want and what gender? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I just want a boy and a girl, but that that's I feel like that's an answer that changes once you have kids Like if you have a kid and you're like wow, this is way more overwhelming than I thought I think I'm good with one or like I love kids. Let's have as many as we can It's, it's one of those things. It sounds like it's hard to answer until you actually have one But I would yeah. just say just a boy and a girl two kids. I think I'm on the Shane Colette page and I'm like just have this the many tarts. like as many as humanly possible <laughs> um, boys There's some girls too yeah. What would you tell your 15-year-old self? Uh, keep working and keep dreaming. Yeah. Shit happens. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also, making that pepperoni pizza perfect will come in handy later. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, when I was 15, I think I wanted to edit the real world. Like That's what I wanted to do when I grew up. And it's funny now that... I edit, edit a footage. reality show, basically. A real, real, real world footage. <laughs> so fine. it's just kind of funny. So uh, <laughs> just do that. You're you're on the right track. Last one. Are you ready for this? Yeah. What are your plans to accomplish for this next year? Plans to accomplish for this next year. Um, hopefully to maintain what we have so far at the very least. And then just continue to kind of like dream big and work and then things just kind of happen that way. For instance, I never thought this year that I would start a podcast and people would start to chime into that and continue to listen, which is, I, don't, I just, I would never think that that's something I would do. And I love that that's become something. And so I hope just continue to like, you know, like I said, dream big and work hard and a lot of stuff. Coming. Oh, I want to get, I want to get jacked. I want to get strong. I feel like I work out all the time and I'm not strong. I need to get serious. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I want to be like strong. I feel like I talk about working out a lot. Like today, I was like, I'm gonna go for a run, and then I just never did. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, so yeah, I'd like to be healthier. I feel like I always could be healthier. I'd like to work more on my blog and fashion stuff, and I'd also like to travel more. I like that. I think all those things that we said oh, are very possible. And, and I, I kind of want another dog. Then buy me another dog. <laughs> all right. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for sending in your questions all day today. You guys are tuned in, uh, loving the vlogiversary, and I hope you enjoyed this special video that we can give you a little Q&A, a little insight into our lives uh, in this specific chapter. Specific chapter. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, like said, that, we would usually edit that out. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, but we hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for your questions. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the vlog tomorrow. As always, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sending in your questions all day today. You guys are tuned in, uh, loving the vlogiversary, and I hope you enjoyed this special video that we can give you a little Q&A, a little insight into our lives uh, in this specific chapter. Specific chapter. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, that, we would usually edit that out. Yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh, but we hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for your questions. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the vlog tomorrow. As always, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.